Not that kind of video. So the idea in the blue lines, I imagine you've all seen them on maps. Do you actually know that local guides can make these? Not many local guides know about it. You have to be level six or higher. If you're in the Street View Trusted program, um, you get some slightly different features, but you don't have to be in the program to do this. All you need is a camera that's capable of recording 360 video in the format that the Street View app wants it. So. The V to V I've, is I've one of done those. It, but it's so hard to do. Even for me, I find it really challenging. Yeah. With the V to V, it actually is a little bit difficult, I have to admit. But the there are some other 360 cameras which make it a little bit easier. They've got a lot more memory than the V to V. Uh, there's one that can do 200 minutes of video, which will cover just about anything. You can also use a new method, which I'm not going to show you today, but it's a because I don't think it's completely available to everybody yet, but there's a new method that lets you use your phone to capture one side of a street as you drive along, and then you can drive back the other way and capture the other side, and it somehow blends them together. So the idea is that Street View helps you find the way, and we're going to have a look, quick look at Pegman in a moment. I shouldn't have stopped presenting yet. Who's actually seen Street View? Are you all familiar with it? You know how it works? Yeah, there's a few people that aren't nodding, so I, I will actually show you, and I'll just have to present a different tab, and I'll just go to one that's nowhere near where I live. Because while I don't mind you guys knowing where I live, I don't really want that on YouTube for some funny reason. So I'm just presenting a maps tab you now. You don't want to show where you live on When that turns YouTube. up. YouTube. Pegman lives down in the bottom right-hand corner. It's a little bit different if you're using your phone. Um, on the phone, the Pegman is done via a layer. He is actually finally back. Yay! He's gone for a year. But if you drag Pegman onto the map, you can see all these blue lines. And the other things you can see is the little circles. So those little circles are individual 360 photographs that people have taken. So not having reviewed this, let's just quickly look at one of them. So this oh, is... Oh, snap. That's good. Yeah, so th this is one that someone's done for a 360 tool for this place, most likely. But that's a pretty cool one. So Can you scroll you... down to the bottom, scroll down the bottom and see if, if they've taken rid of the bottom, then yeah, then that's probably, that's a pro. Yeah, because the tripod's gone. Yep, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And it's a tour as well, if you notice, you can move. I reckon, yeah, I reckon if the tripod's gone, it's a pro. If there's a tripod there, then it's an amateur. Yep. So you can see lots of stuff from the Street View app. I won't won't stay in anybody's place too long. Uh, look, I, check it. No, no go back. Go, go back for a sec. Oh, you can, if you scroll oh, down, you, you can you can see the the um you can see the shadow of the Street View camera. Yeah, that's the Google <laughs> car. Yeah. So you can always see who put the photo up there, whether it's Google or someone else. And you can see there, there's someone hard at work mowing the lawn. Look at that. Nice free ad for them in the video. Free ad for them. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. There's two of them. Look at that. So Google catches the most interesting things happening. Yeah, if you Google it, um, you can see all sorts of people doing pranks on Google. Like what, there was one guy pretending to to um, to murder another person, one person pretending to hide a body, and there's all sorts of <laughs> funny things people try and trick, uh, try, trying to capture when the Google car comes around. It's like a very, very interesting. My favourite one is about 50 people dressed up as horses running after the car. The other one, I've, <laughs> the other one I've seen. That have to be organised. Yeah, the other one I've seen that was really cool is um, a whole bunch of stormtroopers jogging along beside the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So. When I go into the next slide, it's going to play a video, so I will be quiet for the next eight minutes or so, except that it's still me. It's just me from the past. So I'm a time traveller. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm just recording a bit of a tutorial for using the Ricoh Theta V. Can you turn the audio up a bit, please? Here. Got this one at the Connect Live event. Is that better? So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the Wi-Fi is actually connected to our camera. 
So we're just tapping the Wi-Fi. Start it up. I think and that might be as loud as it gets. It will connect. Hopefully. Cool. Okay. Here we go. This does sometimes take a while with the theater. It's uh, interesting Wi-Fi connectivity. There we go. It's found it. Interesting. And it's connected. Good. So the next thing is we'll start the Street View app itself because that's what we use to connect with the camera. That's just opening up now. And it's told me that it has connected to the camera, which is good. So if I bring this up, there's a few that I've created earlier, but that's not what we're going to be doing this morning. This morning I've found a walking path not very far from where I live, which doesn't have street view because it used to be a street, but now it's not. So I'll end this tutorial here for the moment and we'll start again when I'm ready to record the street view path. Okay, so we're out in the wilds at the start of this path now. So I'm just going to start up the Street View app. And it has connected to the camera. That blue bar would be orange if it hadn't. So go the little blue button. Tell it we're going to do a video because we're going to record 4K video and then create the Street View path from there. So I'll not talk for a while because I'll just record this while we go. So starting video up now. You heard the little bleep from the camera. And I'll put this in the pocket for safety. So I've got the phone out again. I'm almost at the end of the path now. So I'll tell it to stop recording in a moment. It's a bit uphill, that's why I'm puffed. I'm also puffed because I'm old and fat. So I'm just at the end of the path, so I'm going to stop it recording now. You can hear the camera bleep. And I'll tell it to download this stuff now. I'll start the video again when I'm ready to upload over Wi-Fi. So we've now reached the other point that needs street view for the local area. This is a thing called the Grey Gum Walking Trail. This also used to be a street here, but after these first couple of driveways, it no longer is. So I'm going to start the Street View video and I'll head down. I'll keep it on live this time because it's only a short one and we'll see you again at the bottom. I probably won't keep talking because I look like a dickhead. Okay, the video started. Now we just start walking and you can see it's making the path as we go down. You can also see there's no street here on the map. So once this goes in, one of the side effects will be that this path will actually appear on the map, which will be kind of cool. We're so at the end of the driveway bit, coming down onto the walking path. It's only a couple of years ago that this actually was a street through here. It's not a bad sort of spot. Sorry about that, I accidentally stopped the video when I moved the phone around then. Because as soon as the phone goes to sleep, the video stops. Oh, beautiful birds there. Yeah, I think I scared them. Or maybe they saw my beard and thought it was a good place to have a nest. Amazing how people try to occupy what is a public walking trail, according to our local council. And you wouldn't think so based on all the stuff people dump on it. So, almost down at the bottom of the path now. So, about to join back up with the street view in the other road. So I'll just stop the recording here and let it start to download. I found it's always better to download now rather than later, because it's a complete pain in the ass if you do it later. So, I'm not going to bore you through talking through all of the downloading process. I'll just let that happen. And I will start this again when it's time to upload on Wi-Fi. So, 
Hope you're enjoying this so far. It's kind of exciting. Okay, back again. So arrived back home. I can see in my profile that there were two new Street View videos to publish. So I'm just going to make sure that I am actually back on my Wi-Fi at home. Looks like I am because I don't want to publish them over 4G because it will cost. So what you've got to do is just hit publish on them. You can see it's started, well kind of, 1%. So, just send the other one as well, and they'll go one after the other. So, that'll be a while while they go up, and I will show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, we're back again, so we're just going to have a quick look at my profile, because they've both uploaded now. So, if I just lift this up a little... What you see there is the two video parts that I put in, generic background, and still processing. Um, in my experience, it takes about 8 to 13 hours or so before they become processed and turn into an actual street view path. Google say it's 24 to 48 hours, but they're probably just being a little bit cautious in their timings there, I think. So I'll come back and have a look at these tonight or tomorrow and show you hopefully the completed paths because that would be the whole point of doing this all right see ya well welcome back i just wanted to show you this because um, i've never seen it do it before so you can see that the paths themselves have actually been processed and they've made all of the individual images it was actually really quick it was less than half an hour um, it hasn't made the blue lines yet, so I've not seen that particular thing happen, but it's still doing all the images. It's still making images, interestingly enough, so maybe they've changed it so you can see a bit of it happening at a time. But anyway, I thought I'd, you'd be interested in uh, seeing this set of images. So we can go and click on one of these, and it takes us straight to it. We can open it up. And we can have a look around. So there's the, the path. You can sort of see that it's wide enough to have once been a street. Certainly not anymore. Of course, the hat. And heading off down into the bit that looks a little bit more like a path. So it's kind of cool. Um, anyway, I thought I'd show you this development because I've not seen the app actually do it ever. So it's quite interesting. I'll come back when it finishes the paths. Bye. Okay, welcome back again. I've cranked this up again because one of them is now fully processed, except what they both are now. And we now have a path. It's that nice blue line across the middle there. Um, I also had a look on desktop and it's already populated there. So if we go to any of those spots in Explore, we will actually discover that there's now Street View for these two areas that didn't have it before. So that's basically the end of this tutorial, and as you can see, it's really, really simple, although it does take quite a while, to get your images from the theta V in form of video processed into stills and then onto the map, which is pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will probably do some more for other topics at some point in time. See ya.